Yes, they are. <laughs> right, so we'll just wait a moment to see if anybody is joining us. Okay, guys? Are you going to be alright with your jumpers on? Yeah. So if not, you can take them off and pop them out of the way. Yeah, I usually do. Okay. Okay, so we've got a couple of people joining already. Super. So it is half past one, so we'll just make a start on our initial chat before we get going. So hello and welcome to today's yoga session, which is ideally suited for children in early years or key stage one. So that's ages four to seven, but that's not to say that if you're a little bit older or younger than that age range, that you can't join in with us today. So make sure if you've got a yoga mat that you've rolled it out in a suitable place or if you don't have one don't worry you can set up on just a soft carpeted area and just make sure that you have a blanket if you might like to use one because it's a little bit more chilly today and also a cuddly toy if you'd like to have it ready for relaxation at the end. And most importantly, make sure that you've popped off those socks. I know it might be a bit chilly on your toes, but it's just to help us not slip when we're practicing our yoga poses. So, remember finally, just to make sure that you listen to your body. So if anything feels at all uncomfortable or you're a bit tired and you'd like to rest, then you can do that during the lesson if you need to. So today's theme is all about a book and we've got with us today Charlie Cook's favourite book. So after we've done our little warm up in a moment we're going to be using this story one page at a time to help us come up with our yoga poses today. Okay so to begin with we are going to warm up and we're going to do that by doing some sun salutations. So if you head onto your mat space standing at the very top of your mat Okay, no we're not. I lied to you. What did we forget to do? We haven't taken three breaths with the chime to settle in yet, have we? So, on your mat, take a seat to begin with. You were going to let me forget, weren't you? I forgot to. <laughs> so find a comfortable seated position, crossing the legs or sitting on your knees as you grow tall through the crown of your head. Let that golden thread lift your head up even higher towards the ceiling and we'll take three deep breaths together with the chime each time we hear it breathing in and out. Lovely. So now we're ready to hop all the way up onto our feet. Standing at the very top of your mat, grow tall through the head and bring the hands together in front of your heart. Do you prepare to take our sun salutations together? So we're going to start by stretch up high, way to the sun, hands down low, tickle your toes, feet jump back, the second row, belly on the ground, just like a snake. Look at the side, now downward flow, and breathe, and breathe. Feet jump up, just like a frog, hand down low, tickle your toes, stretch up high, leg to the sun, mountain pose, pause here. Ready to go again, take a big breath in first, and out, then stretch up high, leg to the sun, hand down low, tickle your toes, feet jump back, just like a frog, belly on the ground, just like a snake, look at the sun, now downward flow. And breathe, and breathe. Then your feet jump up, just like a frog. Hand down low and tickle your toes. 
Stretch up high, wave to the side. Mountain pose, look what you've done. Well done, excellent sun salutations today, guys. They needed to be extra good because there's no sunshine out in our sky today. It's really rainy, but we're not going to let that dampen our spirits. We are going to practice our yoga with the help of Charlie Cook and his favourite book. So you guys can stay on your mats and I'm going to be nipping backwards and forwards so that I can share the book with those at home. So, Charlie Cook's favourite book, written by the wonderful Julia Donaldson and illustrated by Axel Scheffler. So we're going to take one page at a time and then recreate some of the things from each page with our yoga practice. So, once upon a time there was a boy called Charlie Cook who curled up in a cosy chair and read his favourite book. So sitting on your bottoms, bring your feet together so that the bottoms of the feet, the soles of the feet are touching one another. So you can imagine that you're sitting in your comfortable chair and that your feet are a book. So you can bring those thumbs to the inside of the feet, touching the bottom of the feet, and just gently massage the feet with thumbs, trying to open up, prizing open those pages in your book. Lovely. Okay. So now our book is open and ready to go. We're going to have a look at what happens on the next page. So, Charlie Cook read his favourite book about a leaky pirate ship which very nearly sank and a pirate chief who got the blame and had to walk the plank. The chief swam to an island and went digging with his hook. At last he found a treasure chest, and in it was a book. Okay, so we're going to start by making our pirate ship. So we're going to need to make a good, strong boat here. So staying sitting on your bottoms, bringing the soles of the feet to the floor, and those hands onto the back of your thighs, now we're going to pick up one leg and then pick up the other leg and sit really strong in the belly to make our pirate ship. Maybe see if today is the day that you're strong enough to let go of the legs with the hands but still keep that shape. One more big breath in. Lower the legs back down and find yourself a comfortable seated position. Because after... He walked the plank. He had to swim to the island. So we're going to do a bit of swimming here, using our arms to help us. Starting by circling them forwards, just like a doggy paddle. Lovely, great job. And then beginning to circle them back like a backstroke. See if you can keep those arms nice and straight as you windmill them round. Wonderful. Now we've reached all the way to the island. We're going to straighten out those legs, sit nice and tall, and then fold your body forward just as far as it's happy to be over your legs, imagining that you're that closed treasure chest. Take a big breath in here, and out. And then slowly open up the chest, lifting the arms up high overhead. And then open them out wide. So inside that treasure chest, the pirate found a book. Let's see what was happening inside that book that the pirate found. It was about a girl called Goldilocks and three indignant bears who cried, Who's had our porridge? Who's been sitting in our chairs? They went into the bedroom and Baby Bear said, Look, she's in my bed and what is more, she's got my favourite book. Naughty Goldilocks indeed. So we're going to recreate ourselves into those indignant bears. And they were quite rightly indignant. How would you like to come home and find somebody eating your breakfast and reading in your bed? Okay, so to make our bear, our bear likes to sleep a lot, so we're going to start curled up fast asleep in our cave. Coming onto your knees, grounding your back and curling up as small and cosy as you can. Pause here for a moment. 
taking a little rest. Move your bare weight up with a stretch. Walk those arms in. Reach up high. <sighs> Breathing out with a yawn. Now our bears might be a little bit cross and that might cause them to want to roar. So we're going to rest our hands on our knee and practice a big, roaring bear breath, okay? So it's going to be a big breath in through the nose. As we breathe out through the mouth, we're going to big, rah. Okay, we're going to take three together. So hands on your knees, sit tall through the body, give those lungs lots of room. Big breath in. And roar. I think we can do better this time. A bit louder, okay? Breathing in. And Super, that was really good. Let's go for one more big roar. Ready? Breathing in through the nose. And Wow, those were some big, scary bears there. Okay, so let's find out what is baby bear's favourite book. Okay, so it's about Sir Percy Pilkington, a bold and fearless knight, who told the dragon, wait, I'm not quite ready for this fight. You must hear this one first, and then his armour clanked and shook. As he read aloud a joke he'd found, inside his favourite book. Now these are two of my really favourite things to do in yoga, knights and dragons. So we need to embrace our inner warriors here, okay guys? So we're going to come over to our mat and you need to hop all the way up onto your feet this time. Because our knight's not having a tea break, he needs to really stretch and be big and bold, okay? So stand towards the back of your mat and then you're going to take one foot, doesn't matter which one, so we're going to do this on both sides. You're going to step it nice and long in front of you, and then turn your back foot sideways, bend that front knee that you step forward with, reach those arms out long, and imagine that you're holding your sword in that front hand. Look firmly over that hand as you take on the fearsome dragon. Big breath in, and out. Wonderful. So keep that front knee bent, but lower the back leg down to the floor. You turn around, my love, this way. So bend that front knee, that's it, that one down. So we're now going to be that fearsome dragon. So you've got that nice, big, firm base. You're going to sweep your arms up high, and then take them out wide like your dragon wings. We're going to imagine that we're breathing out fire here. So a big breath in. And and once more, breathe it in. Wonderful. Bring your hands to the floor. Step your feet together to bring you back up tall. We're going to repeat our dragon sequence from the night on the other side. So at the back of your mat, this time step the other leg forward. Bending that back leg. Sweep the arms out wide as you hold that sword in your front hand. Look over your front hand here. Soften your shoulders and take a big breath in. And out. Then lower down to the floor. So you're bending that back leg. You've got the opposite leg in front. Come up tall. Sweep your arms straight up high and then swoop them down like dragon wings. Lovely. Breathing fire again. Big breath in. And out. And again. Wonderful. Take yourself a little seat after that fearsome knight and dragon battle. We're going to find out just what is the favourite book of the night. Okay. So we're going to turn over the page. It was about Verena Redelot, a very well-read frog, who jumped upon a lily pad, who jumped upon a log, then jumped into the library which stood beside the brook, and went, read it, read it, read it, as she jumped upon a book. Okay, so we are now going to practice being a frog, imagining that we're jumping from a lily pad to a log 
to the library by the brook, okay? So, on your mat, coming onto your toes and crouching down really low. So keep your fingers on the mat to begin with, just to help you with your balance. So we're going to practice our jumping. So each time we do, we're going to do three big jumps. Each time we jump up and come down again with a ready. So a big breath in as you're about to jump, and then a big ready as you do. Imagine jumping on your lily pad. Ready? Three, two, one. Ready! <laughs> Lovely. Let's see if we can jump a bit higher, making sure to land with those knees bent and on your toes. Okay, we're going to jump now onto our log. Big breath in, and off you go. <laughs> Lovely. Okay, one more big jump because we've got to hop across the brook into the library. Three, two, one. <laughs> Wonderful. Great jumping, guys. So coming down to seated, have a little break there, find your breath again. As we find out which book Rowena Redlock jumped on in the library. Okay, so coming on to the next page. The book was about an oak tree full of birds. Each bird had built a nest. And they had a competition to decide which one was best. They chose an owl to judge it, and the winner was a rook, whose nest was lined with pages from his very favourite book. Okay, so now we're going to get a chance to test our balance as we make ourselves into a mighty oak tree. So you're going to need to hop back onto your feet for this one. So coming up to standing. And again, don't worry too much if you're not sure about your rights and lefts because we're going to do this on both sides. So let's see if we do know. We're going to start by standing on our right leg, okay? So you're going to root your toes down onto the floor, imagining those tree roots sinking into the soil. And then you're going to bring your hands together in front of your heart. Push them together nice and firm, and then look at something in front of you that's not going to move. Going to slide your left foot and rest it on the ankle so that your knee is pointing out to the side. Stand nice and tall, find your balance here. If this feels really balanced, you might like to make it slightly trickier by sliding the foot just below where your knee is and seeing if you can hold the balance there. If it feels really wobbly, simply slide that foot back down so that your toes are touching the floor. As you might like to open up your branches as you're a big, mighty oak tree. Take those arms out nice and wide. Take a lovely, big breath in. And out. Floating your branches of your trunk back down. I'm going to try it on the other side. So on the opposite foot, which may be your left foot, unless you weren't sure, just make sure it's the other one. So really press it into the floor, send those roots down into the soil, bring those hands firmly together, and then place your right foot onto your ankle with the toes on the ground. Fix your eyes on something that's not moving. If this feels wobbly, stay here. If it feels okay, maybe slide your foot up just underneath your knee. Check your balance. Now you can always slide the foot down and rebuild your tree if you need to. Perhaps think about opening those branches slowly out wide, covered in bright green leaves as you take a deep breath in and out. Float your branches of trunk back down. Wonderful. We're now going to imagine we're the owl who judged the competition. We're going to practice sinking down, so we're still testing our balance. Oi, I can get too quick, we're moving slowly. So you're going to bring your arms behind your back like this and take a little hold of your wrists. Imagining these are your owl wings and there's no cheating by holding the floor. And then come onto your toes and very slowly sink your owl down onto a branch of the tree. Watch your balance. We're going to take a big breath in and let it out with a twit to woo, okay? Ready? Big breath in. To woo! To woo! Once more, to 
that's quite a fun noise, okay? Breathe it in. To ready to woo! Lovely. Release the hands and allow yourself to sit down for a moment as we find out what is the rook's favourite book, okay? So, his very favourite book about a girl who saw a flying saucer in the sky. Some small green men were in it, and they waved as they flew by. She tugged her mother's sleeve and said, Look, Mum, what I've just seen. But Mum said, Hush, I'm trying to read my favourite magazine. Okay, so let's see if we can make ourselves into a flying saucer. So you can stay sitting down this time. Come it back as we did at the beginning to bring the soles of the feet together to make that nice diamond shape at the bottom. So you've got your flying saucer base, okay? So we lift the arms up high and bring the hands together to make a circle above your head. And then see if just like a flying saucer in the sky, you can begin to gently twist from the waist from side to side. And our aliens gave us a wave while they were there. So when you get back to the middle, stop. Open your arms out wide and give everyone a good old wave. Hello. Super. So let's see where we're going from here. So the next book was about a wicked jewel thief who stole the king's best crown, but then got stuck behind some sheep, which slowed his car right down. The king dialed 999, and soon the cops had caught the crook and flung him into prison where he read his favourite book. Okay, so now we need to be very royal indeed as we make ourselves into a king with a crown on our head. So sitting nice and tall, stretch your legs out nice and long in front of you and point those toes towards your face. Grow really tall through your head. As you breathe in, sweep the arms up high. As you breathe out, bring them down and pop them on your head to make a crown. Spread those fingers nice and wide. And take a really big breath in. And out. Wonderful. What amazing kings and queens you guys made. Okay, let's see. What was the prisoner's favourite book? So, the Jewel Thief's book was about a greedy crocodile who got fed up with fish and went on land to try and find some other kind of fish. He went into a bookshop and there grew even greedier while reading on page 90 of a large encyclopaedia. Now we're going to make ourselves into a big, fierce crocodile, okay? So for this one, you need to lay down on one side. Doesn't matter which side, because we're going to do both of them, one after the other. So we're already getting good demonstrations here from the boy. So laying on one side, stretch those arms out overhead and have your legs out long. Pop your legs down, that's it. So as we breathe in, we're going to open our arms up wide, lifting that top arm up to the sky. As you breathe out, snap the hands shut. Lovely. Breathe in, open. Breathe out, shut. Okay, roll over onto your other side. Arms are still stretched out long. Legs are long. Breathe in to lift up that top arm. Breathe out, snap it shut. Once more. Lovely, great crocodile action there, guys. So roll over and bring yourself back up to seated. We're going to find out about the next book. So this encyclopedia. He was reading about the biggest birthday cake the world had ever seen. A team of royal cake makers had made it for the Queen. The cake was so delicious that a famous spaceman took a slice of it to Jupiter. He also took a book. Okay, so hop back up onto your feet. We're going to make ourselves into that biggest birthday cake the world has ever seen. So as you stand up nice and tall, step your feet a little bit wider. Bring your heels inwards and your toes pointing out diagonally, okay? 
Then you're going to bend your knees and sink your hips down as low as you can. And then bring those arms up to make that top tier of your cake. Take a big breath in and out. As you grow taller, straighten your legs. Bring your hands together above your head. Reaching up high, just like that rocket sending itself off to Jupiter. It's going to count down from five and then do a big jump to bring the feet together. Counting down together. Five, four, three, two. One, jump in the air, bring the feet in really close. Wonderful, sweep those arms down. And just stay on your feet for a moment as I read you the next section. So we're going to do the next bit standing up. Okay, so the book that went to Jupiter was about a ghost who glided round a castle every night, carrying her head and giving everyone a fright. She kept it up till morning, then she found a shady nook and put her head back on again to read her favourite book. So whilst you're standing nice and tall, you're going to bring one hand out onto your hip as if you're carrying your head, and the other one's carrying your book. And just glide gently around your mat from one end to the other. Lovely. Swap arms so that you're carrying the head under the other side and the book in the other hand. Wonderful. So bring yourself all the way down to seated as I take you to the final page in this wonderful book. So, the ghost's favourite book was about a cosy armchair and a boy named Charlie Cook. Wonderful. Now you're sitting back down. You're going to roll onto your back and hug your knees in to your chest. Taking a little rock from side to side. Massaging out your back. And as you stop in the middle, Bring your arms inside of your legs and take a hold of your shins or your ankles. Perhaps you can even reach the outside of your feet. As you open the legs wide and lift your feet up to point at the ceiling, gently draw down on the feet. Or stay still or maybe rock gently from side to side. Bring the knees back together and let the feet come down to the floor, stretching your legs out long. Grab your cuddly toy if you wish to hug one. Hop on your blanket if you're using one to make yourself nice and cosy. Maybe if you're grown up there they could tuck you in. Finding that comfortable position on your back, laying symmetrically if you can. And then allow your eyes to gently close. Imagining that you're sitting in your favourite corner. Maybe there's lots of cosy cushions and blankets. And in your hand is your very favourite book. You begin to flip through the pages, looking at the colours in the pictures, beginning to read or sound out the words. Perhaps you could imagine that you're inside your favourite book, talking to your favourite character. As you spend a little more time in stillness, until you next hear my voice, the 
the eyes closed, explore inside the wonderful landscape of your very favourite book. The time comes for you to leave the world inside your book. Begin to gently wriggle your fingers and toes. Slowly bringing yourself back up to a seated position. Use that golden thread to grow tall through the crown of your head. As we take three deep breaths together with the chime to close our practice. Bringing your hands together front of your heart as the goodness in me sees the goodness in all of you. We bow our heads to one another. Yeah, Namaste. So thank you for joining us today for yoga and I do hope that you enjoyed Charlie Cook's favourite book by Julia Donaldson illustrated by Axel Scheffler. So I would be really interested to hear what your favourite book is so maybe your parents could help you add a comment beneath the video when you get a chance to watch it, whether you're here now, live, or later. Maybe pop in the comment what your favourite book is. And perhaps you could spend some time this afternoon reading that one or a different book of your own at home. So just before we go, what is your favourite book, Lachlan? Um, Zog and the Flying Doctors. Zog and the Flying Doctors. So that's another good one by Julia Donaldson. And Phoebe, what's your favourite book at the moment? The Fairy One. The Fairy One? Excellent. So we've got a good selection of books here. So, excellent. Well, anyway, thank you for joining us again today. It was lovely to have you here. We are back on Thursday at 1.30 for Key Stage 2 Yoga. And this week it's all about rainbows. As I'm sure you've seen, there's lots of rainbows in people's windows to help thank the NHS and other key workers during this pandemic. So we're going to be looking at the idea of rainbows and finding out a little more about the science behind them in our lesson on Thursday. So please do join us. If you've missed any of the previous sessions, there are some in the playlist in the video section on our Facebook page here. So do have a look and join in with any of those as and when you want to. And feel free to share or tag anyone that you think might be interested in joining too. But we will leave you to enjoy the rest of your afternoon now and we look forward to seeing you here again soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.